down to Southwest. I'm your cowgirl Rachel here at Turkey Creek Stables in Plant City. Boy, do we have a rodeo for you because on today's show, Grace is going to tell us what's corralling up at Southwest with Campus News. A today in history that will knock your spurs off. A sports spot with Josh because that cowboy knows what he's talking about. A report with Bree that'll knock you off of that saddle. And a Casey's Corner that will keep you up to date on what's going on in this Western nation. So don't giddy up on that horse just yet because up first is today in history. Turkey Creek Stables is home of some of Polk County's best activities, from bear racing or just regular horseback riding. If you like horses, you'll love this place. And speaking of places you love, let's check in with Grace, who's got all the info you love about what's going on around our campus. Thanks, Grace. Did you know that riding horses for leisure and fun has been around since the medieval times? In fact, it's such a popular sport, it's in the Olympic Games, called equestrian. And to find out more information on the sports that you like, let's head over to Josh with today's sports spot. Thanks, Josh. Great sports spot. Here at Turkey Creek Stables, it's just a little piece of horse heaven. From big horses to small horses, they've got it all. And from big stories to little stories, Casey's got it all. So let's amble on over to Casey's Corner. Phew! Thanks, Casey. With all the excitement going on around here, I'm plump tuckered out. So let's hand it over to Bree, who's going to tell us what's going on here at Turkey Creek Stables. Phew! Whew. Can I get some iced tea? Hmm. It's not iced tea, but it sure is refreshing. Thanks, Bree, and thank you for joining us at Turkey Creek Stables in Plant City. It's time for me to mosey on back to campus. Y'all have a good day now, you hear? Sheet Builder Cup of Joy, now are you ready to fill yours? I know what you're thinking, all our competitors are saying that they're going to make you happy, but no, they ain't. We here at Cup of Joy understand that you don't want to be miserable, no, you don't want to be miserable, no, you don't want to be sad. Get your Cup of Joy today. Just listen to one of our satisfied customers. Oh! Now that you see what Cup of Joy can do for those people, find out what it can do for you. Just one cup a day. That's all it takes. And it will have you rocking around the clock. What a deal! Tired of all those pick me ups that keep you down? Tired of all those uppers that don't keep you up? They give you sadness! You've tried Joe's, now try Joy! Let's take Joy to the streets and find out what it can really do for you. Wah! Joy! Excuse me, miss, you the time? Well, of course I do! And it looks like you need to have a cup of Joy. How can you tell? Well, it's pretty obvious. And if you call it out, we'll throw in a free bundle of enthusiasm. Joy! Joy is sweeping the nation, sweeping the streets. Why do drugs when you can have joy? Side effects may include acne, hair loss, loss, some sticky fingers, and hey, you might even die. But who cares? You'll be happy, more than happy. You'll have your cup of joy. Call now. Our people are always awake, 24-7. Buy a cup of joy now. school students may have their world at their feet, but what they don't have a lot of is the opportunity to get involved in a school sport. The dissolving of the junior high system and budget shortfalls are just a couple of contributing factors. In the 2009-2010 school year, Southwest Middle offered just two sports, volleyball for girls and wrestling for boys. Most middle schools are only provided around $900 to operate their sports. When the cost of paying coaches, officials and buying equipment and uniforms is factored in, that $900 just doesn't cover it. Polk County Middle Schools may be limited to what they offer in the world of sports, but when students get in high school, there's plenty to choose from. With many of Polk County High Schools earning national recognition, like Lakeland Dreadnought Football and George Jenkins High School's Women's Soccer, students most definitely have something to look forward to. I'm Rachel Watson, SBN News.
my students, I'm Rachel, and today's topic is extremely touching, campus news. The band students are having a concert at Lake Mirror on October 20th at 6.30. It's their annual concert, so come enjoy some great food and wonderful music. Oh, there you are. On October 23rd, there's a teacher work day. Yes, I mean darn. I'm so sad I won't have to go to school that day. is October 29th. If your grades are a little less than stellar, find out what you need to do to bring them up. Most teachers are willing to help. All you have to do is ask. Speaking of grades, report cards come out soon. To be exact, they come out November 10th. If you have really great grades, like me, you can participate in Achievement Week. It's this really fun thing you get to do for a week. All this talk about campus stuff, report cards, and concerts makes me happy. No, more than happy. I just want to get up and exercise. One, two, back to McKenna. Hey, I'm Rachel with What Took Place This Day in History. On this day in 1901, Queen Victoria, known for restoring dignity to the English monarchy, dies. And on this day in 1973, the Supreme Court legalizes abortion. The U.S. Supreme Court rules that women, as part of their constitutional right to privacy, can terminate a pregnancy during its first two trimesters. Celebrity birthdays today include pop singer Willa Ford, Guy Fieri, who was the Food Network star, and Linda Blair, who was the lead actress in The Exorcist. This has been Rachel with Today in History. Oh hey Southwest, I'm Rachel Watson on this lyrical morning. You know what I've noticed? A lot of people just love listening to music nowadays. I think it's just because it drowns out so much. Oh my goodness, it drowns out so much that I forgot what's going on around campus. So to fix that, let's go to Josh with today's campus news. Oh my goodness, Southwest, I have a guitar recital in one week and my strings sound so out of tune. You know what, I thought I heard Mr. Kerr talking about a great place to go fix damaged instruments. Carlton's perhaps? Let's go to Rachel and Rebecca with more insight. Dancing Queen, oh my gosh, I love this song. That sure does bring back old SBN memories when we were making our music video. But instead of Dancing Queen, it's Edit Queen. Roll the tape, guys. I would just like to thank the Academy for giving us this award and all you judges out there, you know who you are, for this amazing rendition of all this music video, Dancing Queen. I know, I was terrific. Seminole, that's all I have for you today. Have a hip hop and day. Southwest recently became a Title I school. But what does that mean? A Title I school receives additional government funding and generally has smaller classes. Additional teachers, training, counseling, career and college awareness, and increased parental involvement. And the program works! Since 2003, Achievement Week has boosted student achievements by 16%. Pursuing grant opportunities like these has opened up a new curriculum enhancement for our students. We have a team of teachers working diligently behind the scenes to help find additional funding and technology for our school. This is just a sample of grants that our school has received, and we're proud to welcome the newest club that has joined the ranks, Youth in Action. And this is just the beginning of what Southwest offers as its extracurricular activities. There are many more, and each with their own set of awards and recognitions. If creativity is what you like, then Southwest is proud to say we've got you covered. So what are you waiting for? Come to Southwest Middle and share in our pride. Good morning, Southwest. I'm Rachel Watson. On today's broadcast, Tardy Hall. Students don't like it, but there's no denying that it works. We've got an update on your traffic and weather with the Caster Twins, a campus news with McKenna, plus a sports spot with Josh that will keep you on the edge of your seat with excitement. But before we get started, let's take a look at what happened today in history. Thank you, Rebecca and Rachel, with that report. 
Now to our top story, Tardy Hall. Tardy Hall, proven to be an effective deterrent to tardiness, but there's one location on our campus that seems to be succeeding at this policy more than most. What's their secret? Hidden cameras have revealed while E-Wing has been so successful with encouraging students to get to class on time. Thank you to Mrs. Mule's third period class for putting together that informative report. In other news, now that we are in the second semester, there's a lot more going on around our campus. A New York trip meeting and jazz band happenings top our announcements. So let's go to McKenna, our on-scene reporter, to tell us what's going on around campus. Need to know the weather and how to get to class on time? Let's head over to the weather and traffic desk with the Caster Twins. Thanks, Rachel and Rebecca. That in-depth forecast was very enlightening. And finally on the, this morning's broadcast is the Sports Spot. Here he is, the expert on everything sports, Joshua Glazier. Josh. Thank you, Josh. I'll be sure to tune in to catch the Super Bowl. And as always, we thank you for tuning in. I'm Rachel Watson. Have a great day. All this week, SBN is focused on the issue of bullying. Today, we're going to take a look at what Southwest Middle offers to its students as resources. If you have been bullied or have seen someone else being bullied, there's something you can do. Southwest Middle acknowledges the seriousness of bullying. If you have been bullied or have seen someone else being bullied, don't stay silent. Take a stand to lend a hand and stop bullying now. I'm Rachel for SBN News. Where do you say you're from again? Los Angeles. We just moved here last week. Los Angeles? O-M-G. Have you met any stars? Tons. Like who? Well, I just met Taylor Swift about six months ago. What about Taylor Lautner? No, Orlando Bloom. <gasps> no, Justin Bieber. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Hey, hey, watch where you're going. Oh. I swear I was never that immature when I was in the sixth grade. So where'd you say you were born? Paris. And the shopping is incredible. That is so cool. Uh, yeah, my dad takes me and Brittany every summer in his private jet. You have a private jet? Uh, yeah, my dad bought it after he got his big promotion at MTV. It's really not that big of a deal. Not that big of a deal? Jeez, Ashley. If I had a private jet, I would literally be screaming it from the rooftops. Hey, everybody, I'm a private jet! What are you, the flight attendant? You know it, because I look better skirt than you do anyways. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate it. So, there's no private jet? Andrea. Andrea! Well, if you don't have a private jet, what do you have? Well, we do have an old boat. It 